Okay. We are in uh, Torah Nun Dalet. We are in the Torah Nun Dalet. Just on dropped the, in. Huh? Just dropped in. Just, <laughs> yeah, yeah. just dropped in. No, there <laughs> we are in there for a long time already. <laughs> we are swimming there already. Right. And in Chalik uh, Bab. So we were speaking about the Koach HaMedameh. And... Uh, now I, I want to say uh, like an introduction for this part, but maybe it will be the whole show today. We started speaking about the, the power of the imagination. And we said that, uh, Rabbi Nachman said, that today we, have to, we should change the name of the Yetzirara to the, to the power of imagination. This is the name of the Yetzirara today. So we said that the imagination is made out of uh, four parts. The first part is the imagination itself. What does it mean imagination? It comes out from the word imagine. Yeah? Not imagine, image. 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 You, you, you take an image. What, what, what does it mean, an, an image? An image is, is what I see of the object. Yeah? Like I see, I see a house. So I don't... Uh, what, what is a house? A house is four uh, walls and a roof. That's the outside of the house. The inside of the house is the rooms, is the furniture. Yeah? It's the walls, the, what, what uh, they have uh, in, inside, this is the outside. So when I look from uh, the outside, I get the image of the outside of, of, of the house. And the imagination has the power to take this image, take it out of the material, and make it, make it into a spiritual. Why into a spiritual? Because there's no more material. Yeah? I, I look at the house, I see the image, I close my eyes, I can still see the image of the house. So he took it out of the, of the gash mute, of the material, and made it into a spiritual thing. This is the first power of the imagination. The second power is the Fort Knox, yeah? the, 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 the box where I put the memory of this image. Yeah? And Fort Knox is very small, because what, you, what, what, what I remember in my memory is millions and millions and millions of, of, of pictures, of images that I have in my... So this is the second power of the imagination. What happened? Uh, the third power, we said, is the, the estimating power. That after I have all these pictures, I can estimate it. it means I see the the image of the of, of a village, of a city. I can estimate how big it is. I can estimate how many people live there. How? Because I I, I have a I remember in one house there's a family lives. Family is a mother and father and let's say two between one kid and ten kids or twelve kids <laughs> depends you know and I can think it depends where if it's a religious Jewish religious uh, <laughs> village so it's uh, if there's uh, like uh, let's say uh, ten houses so there's hundred people you know but uh, if it's a normal uh, American village so there's ten. Uh, 10 houses, let's say 20 people, 30 people, yeah? Something like, something like this. Why? Because I, I have the, 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 the imagination, I have the power of the est estimating, estimating. And the uh, fourth uh, power is, I don't know how to call it, the the, 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 the wakes you up. How, 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 how could you say it? The, Light. Enlightenment. 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 Yeah. Enlightenment. Uh, okay. So this is the four the four powers. Now we 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 start the started this Torah by. Kitzchim lishmor meod et azikaron. 
You have to 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 keep the keep your memory. Yeah. Shelo yipol shichecha b'chinat mitat alim that you won't, you won't uh, fall fall in you, you won't go into uh, the the forgetness. Yeah. Which is the death of the of the heart. What is the memory that I have to keep in keep and guard and take care of? The memory of the world to come or the coming world, like we wanted to call it. Not the, the world to come, the coming world that is coming all the time. Maybe maybe this is the the like the 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 world calls the 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 world to come. You know the Olam Abba, they call it the world to come. It's going to come. Sometime, you know, very far away, it's going to come. And the Zohar wants to call it the coming world. It's not something very far. It's coming all the time. So this is the memory that we have to remember. The world to come is not something that is going to happen in a very, very long time, you know. Even someone with a white beard like me, you know, think, I'm going to die. Nah, it's not going to happen. To me, it's going to happen to someone else, not to me. You know, I'm not going to. I'm. I'm going to get. I'm not going to. Uh, I'm, go, I'm going to live forever. This is the the feeling that we have. This feeling comes from the Yetzirah, from the imagination. He, he's estimating. You know, I live for 50 years. I'm going to live for another 50 years or another hundred years. Why not? I don't see any reason why not. He's not estimating. You know, look, people are dying around you. You know, where, where is this guy? Ah, he's gone. Where is this guy? This one is also gone. Where is this guy? This one had, had a heart attack. This one uh, uh, went in a, in a car accident. This one uh, had uh, something in his uh, brain. No, you know, this, is, this, is, this was because he didn't take care of himself. And this because he didn't take vitamins. And this because he didn't die carefully, you know. I have all kinds of excuses why it happened to all them, and for me, no. I drive very carefully. I take uh, vitamins, you know. I, 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 I pray every day, you know. My wife prays for me, you know, and she's a great sadakist. So I'm not going to die. <laughs> I'm, I'm okay, you know. But it doesn't know. You have to keep on this memory. If you want to have good life, keep this memory. This is the coming world. And the coming world is a good world, you know. And and to die is not bad. You don't have to be afraid of dying. If you remember in your life, this memory. Okay, so what uh, now what, what we said? We said the, the imagination can take something uh, physically and make it into spiritual. Yeah? I see the, the image, I take it out of the material wood. Uh, metal, uh, cement, whatever, I take it out of the, the material and I make it into a spiritual. But what kind of uh, spiritual I make it? You know, like now the estimation that is lying to us, the imagination that lies to us about the world to come, uh, and the coming world, you know, is lying. He said, to die is very, is very bad. It's very, it's very frightening, you know. But if you, if, if, if uh, you know, like Rabbi uh, Shimon Bar Yochai, you know, uh, in the Sriat Omer, we're going to Lag Ba Omer, we have this wedding on, on Lag Ba Omer, you know, so it, Rabbi Shimon, he, he wasn't afraid of dying, and his time with Rabbi Yitzchak, he told him, you know, Rabbi Yitzchak was supposed to uh, die. One day he came to the shiur, and Rabbi Shimon says to him, uh, you know, a man, that the, how do you call it, the angel of death is dancing above his head, he's coming like this to the shiur. And that's what he said in the shiur. And after the shiur was over, and all the Talmudim, all the students left, or Yitzhak stayed, and start crying. You know, I knew, I, I know you spoke about me, I know, I don't know why, but you spoke about me, please save me. So Abishimon uh, prayed, 
And Hashem gave him another 22 years until he will marry his uh, son. He still teach uh, his son Torah and marry all his son and then he, he is going to die. And on the day uh, uh, that Rabbi Shimon will die, Rabbi Yitzhak will, uh, will go with him also. So on this day, Rabbi Shimon uh, says to uh, Rabbi Yitzhak, go home, say goodbye to everybody and come back and be ready because you, you're coming with me. Uh, we're going together. And he speaks about it like, you know, we're going to a good place. I told him about my friend, you know, Nachman Galinsky, Zichon You know, I, 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 I saw him on, uh, on Erev Shabbos. We all came to say goodbye. We knew he's, he's, it's the end, you know, we, we, we knew. And I was standing there, you know, I was very sad, like, and he says to me, Ehud, why are you sad? I'm going to a good place. That's what he said to me, you know, and, and, he, and, he, and he passed away on uh, Shabbos, uh, Suda Shlishit. Yeah? We saw him in, on, on Erev Shabbos before uh, the Suda, and, he, and he, he was singing with his, with his kids. Yeah, yeah, all the kids, they, they all, you know, they were beautiful uh, choir, you know, they, 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 and he was singing, and he just took his head like this. That's it in the middle of the singing of, of Shabbos. So he told me, you know, I'm going to a good place. Why? Where, 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 where am I going? I'm going to the coming world. Not to the Olam Abad that is going to... I, I, I'm ready to, to, to go there. I'm, I, I didn't waste my life. I didn't waste my time here. You know, I got myself ready. Okay, so this is the stories. Now let's <laughs> go on, carry on learning, you know. This is the, 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 the power of the imagination. So, where is the fight? The fight is in Fort Knox, in the, in, in, the, in the memory box. There is the fight. Keep your memory. What does it mean by keeping my memory? I, how can I keep my memory? The more good memory you put in, the more you are guarded. Yeah? I want to keep it, put good memories. What does it mean, good memories? This is good memory. When I, when I learn Torah, I put good memory in, into, my, into my head. More and more and more and more and more. When I make mitzvahs, I put good memory into my head. This is good memory. This is the good memory that can fight the bad memory. Like when I when I see a, I see a, a village, you know, because I, I sit in front of a, of a village, you know, so I, I, I look and I, I see the village. What do I look for? Why is the Beit Knesset? Why is someone with a hat on his head walking there? Why? Because I have a lot of good memory, in, 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 so I search for good memory. Yeah, when I when I see. I, I had an example, you know, maybe it's a little bit of a hard example, but language, you know, language. Do you like the Hebrew language? Do you like the English uh, language? Do you like French? Do you like uh, Tahitian? Do you like uh, well, no, Amhari? Do you like Hindu? Does it say, uh, okay, okay, okay. Do you like German? No, sorry. Up to here. Why? Germany reminds me of, of Nazis. That, that's how I, I grew up. So if I meet a, a German guy, he speaks German to me, it's very hard for me to cut off my feeling to the German language and see the man that speaks to me. It's very hard for me. You know, it was Japanese, uh, uh, Chinese, uh, French guy. No, I have a problem to understand him because he have a, an accent in his Hebrew or in his English. Yeah, but they don't have any feelings. I don't have any bad memory against him, so I can see the man. He's, he's good. He's intelligent. He's, 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 whatever I guess. But a German, it's wow. It's a hard work. You know. So I was educated like this. The same that I was educated, excuse me, you know, but as an Israeli, you know, I am the best. Excuse me for saying that, you know. <laughs> I am the best. 
you know, so if I hear uh, an Ole Chadash, yeah, if he's, he's American, if he's, if he's French, whatever, <laughs> you know, <where? laughs> you know, <laughs> that's, that's how I was educated. Right. This is the memory I have in my head. You know, to cut down this memory, to understand, listen, <laughs> it's very nice, you know, Israel is the holy la land and you speak the holy language and you have many uh, good things in you, but, <laughs> you know, maybe this guy, maybe he's American, maybe he's French, maybe he's uh, whatever, you know, uh, uh, South African or whatever, you know, maybe a little bit, uh, he has some kind of talents that is better than you. Of uh, some kind of midas that is better than you. Yeah, maybe it's it's possible, even though that you are so good because you were born in this. Uh, again, it, it's memory that I have to, you know, go into my head and go into my heart and find out what kind of memory I was grown on to get to be a Jewish man, not an Israeli or an American or a French, to be Jewish. To be Jewish means, first of all, you have to be connected to the memory of the coming world. The, the coming world doesn't make any difference between an Israeli and an American and a Chinese. You know, I, it's hard to say it, you know, but even to a Goy, the coming world is a different attitude than what you grew up to, you know, it's, it's, it's different. The counting world looks as a, on a man as a man, who he is, what does he do? He's doing a good things or he's doing bad things? That's how the coming world look at him, because the coming world is a sham. You know, if, if, uh, if a German guy, let, let's take the German, for me it's, it's a, it's a, Strong example, you know, a German guy, and I, I read not uh, long ago of, uh, of a German guy that saved many Jewish people in the, uh, in, the in the Holocaust, in the time of the Holocaust. It, he's a German guy, you know, but he saved many, many Jews. He has to be, you know, something very against of all his uh, nations. He has to be a really strong man. Something inside him. And, and, he, and, and he didn't uh, convert, he didn't become to he, he, he stayed a goy. But yeah, he had a strong uh, I a, off here, a character, very strong character, to go against all his nation, all his family, all his friends, and, and do this uh, very thing. He, he could have died, just like this. Nobody would really think, you know, he... You know, like the Germans themselves, they wouldn't think, you know, he's a German, you have Jews, you're finished. So the coming world looks at, looks at him different, uh, different altogether. You know, and he, he gets the prize what he, he should get, and, he, uh, uh, and the cover what he, what he should get, he, get, he gets everything. So this is who I have to be. I have to be like my creator. To look on the man, like a man. This is the, 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 the good memory and this is the good life. Because then you can, you can focus on the good. What is the other side of the memory? This already is not introduction to this part, it's the introduction to the... It's, it's still the verb, you know, it didn't cut it, but it's the second part of the verb. But The other side is, so, this is the, the memory, this is the powers of the memory, and this is how I should, how, 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 how I should keep the, the power of the imagination, and the main point of the fight is in the memory. To remember, to put into my memory, Torah, 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 Mitzvah, Torah, 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 Mitzvah, that, that's what I have to put in my memory. And everything I, I get out of this world, to check it, with the with the with the Torah, and we said that the seichel, you know, the what is the seichel in English? Intelligent. Yeah. Intelligence doesn't have anything to do with this world. It's only connected to the coming world. 
This is the, the, the Sechel of, of, of the man. And what he has to do with this world, he gets the information from the imagination. The power of the imagination. So the way the imagination gives it to my brains, this is how he, he gets it. It's not like, you know, people come to you and say, the, my rabbi said so. Okay, I believe your rabbi said so. But what did you say to your rabbi? You know, like we had an argument, and I went to my rabbi, and my rabbi said I was right. Yes. What, what did you say to the rabbi? You said that you, you kicked me in the face? No, you didn't say. No, you didn't say. So for sure you are right, you know. But you said, no, he, he, no, he, he, he did this. But what did you do before he did? You didn't say. So, like you, are the, you give the rabbi the facts, you know, and by this he can know. That's why the rabbi shouldn't, uh, shouldn't hear one of the sides before the other side comes. Why? Because the first one, he is the right. Because he has the time to say everything without the details of the other one. And then the other one comes and he only uh, fills the picture. But the rabbi already has the picture. That's why that both have, have, have to be together. Then when you speak and I, I don't agree with you, straight away I, I say what I think. And that's how the picture is built. So this is the imagination and the intelligence. Let's go to the other side. What is the other side? The other side is the way Hashem created the world. Like Hashem, God is the pure intelligent you circle that there is that we cannot understand it. What did he do? He created the world. He took out the light that we cannot, we don't have any touch with it, and put images. So in the beginning, the images is spiritual and, and thin, you know, and delicate, like, and slowly, slowly, it gets closer to our ability of, uh, of, of, of understanding. And what is the closest? Is the names. Shem Hashem, we have the, the Yod Kevavke, we have the Adanut, we have the Ekye, yeah? We have the names. When we call him that he is merciful, you know, we, we, we call him all kind of names and... But really what is inside the name? We don't know. We don't have the... We call it Enso. Infinity. Infinity is something that we can... We cannot understand. But he, ha he has names, so it's, it goes to the other side. The uncatchable comes into to be catchable. You know, something that I cannot put into imag in, in, in imagination goes into in, in the imagination and then goes into my intelligence, into my sechel. And also, I come from down, I'm coming up. He comes from up, is coming down to us, and then we catch together. This is the, the Navi. What is the Navi? The Navi gets some kind of imagination. Vision. A vision. What is a vision? Is, is in, in, the, in the imagination power. Yeah. What does the vision wants to say? It takes something spiritual it physical. into the physical. What is the physical? The imagination Speech. is the physical. No, the imagination is the physical. Ah. Is the physical point of the of the spiritual power? The imagination is the spiritual point, the lowest, the lowest point of the, uh, and it's the highest point of the Gashmirs. and there it That's where gets it meets. together. Yeah, it meets. there it meets. And the, the Navi has to have a very high intelligence to understand this message. Okay, so now we can understand a little bit from this uh, from this Torah. There was another thing. Now we say before this. Okay, this is uh, this is one chavila. <laughs> the other chavila is uh, that 
Rabbi said, how, how, how does a man make tshuva? Like it's, it's a good uh, example, this uh, German guy. How does a man make tshuva? He says, you have a point, spiritual point in you, and the Jewish point is the, 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 the main Jewish point that is in you. And then the Yetzirah comes and eats you. How does he eat you? You make another Avera, you make another one, you make another one, and another one, another one. And you became, you, 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 you lose all your Jewish uh, identity. Ident, uh, identity, yeah? Then he wants to eat your, your inner point, your inner spiritual good point, he wants to eat you. And then when he eats this point, he gets stuck in his uh, throat and he has to vomit. And then he's, he's taken out what he has already in his stomach, he's, all, he's also taken out. There's an amazing story of three guys from the kibbutz that went to, uh, like, they, you know, you finish the army, you go to the Far East or to South America or something. They went to the Far East and they, was, they were close to the Indian uh, Pakistani border and by accident they crossed the border to Pakistan. And they got caught with, uh, by the Pakistani army. And they told them that or they kill them, or they become uh, Muslims. Secular guys said, no, we, we're not becoming Muslim. He says, why? You're a secular guy. What, what do you care? You're not Jewish. You're not really Jewish. But you're Jewish, you know, but only because you were born Jewish. But so be Muslims. No, they, they don't want to, uh, they're not ready to, uh, to become Muslim. They're, they're ready to die. So they gave, uh, they, they told them we we'll give them you give uh, we give you three days to think about it. Said so, no, we don't need this three days. We know we we don't want to be Muslims. We are Jewish, and we're going to die, die Jewish like, like this, you know, with nothing. Yeah? So they they took them, they took them. They didn't think good enough these Pakistanis, you know. They took only three guys, and one of the. One of the Israeli guys, he jumped on, on them, he took the gun, they killed them, and they managed to run to the American embassy in uh, Pakistan. And, uh, but he was wounded, this uh, guy that jumped on them. He saved his two friends, and he was wounded, and he was, it was in the end, when he uh, landed in, in Israel, he, was, he knew already that it's the end. But he said, he said, it's, I'm, I'm very happy to die. Because I'm dying Jewish. You know, like I thought I was going to die there. What happened? What happened? What do you want? What, what's the problem to be Muslim? So be, like the same thing, you're uh, Jewish, being Muslim, there's no difference, you know, you're not a religious Jew. No, but you want to take my inner point of Jewish? No, 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 up to here. And that's how people make tshuva. You know, the Yetzirah comes to take the, the, the inner point, and then they jump out. No, 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 no. So I thought, why wait? Why wait until he comes to take my inner point? I can say my in, inner point is that I'm keeping Shabbos. Yeah? This is my inner point, you know? And then I can say my inner point is not that I'm only I'm keeping Shabbos. I'm saying all the songs on the tables. Yeah? And then I can say, no, it's not only that I say all the songs, it's also that I learn on Shabbos. I say, I say, the way to that I can make my inner point larger. And then when he jumps on my inner point, you know, he's not jumping on my, me being secular and, and making all the others in the world. He's jumping on me like, like I am now. That's how you become tzaddik. That's how you work with the Yetzirah. Yeah? Every, every time you want to jump on me, oh, I understand where is my border, that I have to take my border a little bit further, a little bit bigger. Yeah? And this is the end. You know, instead of letting it go, go back, to, ah, this you want to take me, this, I'll show you. I, I'll put another hour. You want to take me this hour of, of learning? I put another hour. You want to take me this one? I put another hour. Yeah? 
Are you, you, you're not going to... Uh, the, the, you, well, the place you buy, this is the border. Yeah? Mm. I'm going to make it larger. I'm going to win. I'm going to make, I'm going to take you away. Not you going to take me away. Yeah? This is how I, I... This is the imagination. The imagination tells you, now I'm, I'm, I'm passing a, a hard time. You're right, you're passing a hard time. But make the hard time next time further away in the, in, in, in the enemy's uh, land. Not in my land, in the enemy's territory. There I, 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 I will make the fight. Not in my... Yeah. And like, this is how I, I make the... This is how I, I make the fight. Rabbi Tatz, I don't know if you know Akiva Tatz, has a great story about this very thing that you're saying. He says, talks about the uh, uh, says you have to get up in the morning like a lion. Yeah. Right? He said uh, the, the, the Yitzhar is trying to kill you. He said, if you, he said, if you think about it, the Yitzhar is saying to you, you don't want to get up. It's cold outside. It's warm in here. Stay in bed. And if you if you have a conversation with him, you lost. Yeah. You lost because you're on his territory. Yeah. If you wake up and jump out of bed, and you know so you're ready to go, yeah. you're on his territory, and yeah. you can win. And yet it's an even even yeah. playing ground. Yeah. Don't think too much. Think too <laughs> Just, much. Do, Just it. do it. <laughs> yeah. Just do it. So th this is the same with the, with this German guy. Yeah. You know. So, to be so bad? No. So he could do what he could do. I won't be bad. I will be a, a small citizen in my uh, small house, and I won't. I won't uh, kill the Jews. I won't uh, do anything bad. He says no. So I'm not going to kill. Them. I'm going to help them. Yeah. I'm going to fight you and take out from you. Not you take out from me. And oh, I just stay like this. No, I'm going to jump on you. Take out of from you, and this is the, the this is the fight that we do. we should do all the time, all, all our life. This is the fight we should do, especially someone that loves Torah. This is this is the main fight, is with us when we learn Torah. Is the meaning of of our learning? How how do we learn? What 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 do we learn for? This uh, power of imagination. He needs a vassal to stay there. Why? Because he doesn't have a vassal. He doesn't have anything real in, in, in this world. That's why he's looking to, uh, to, to be with the one that learns. Shonei alachot, the Talmud Chacham. That's why when they say something new in the Torah, it looks good. Like we say, you say it in Ashkenaz, gleich, chalak, smooth. Because it comes from the power of the imagination. That he, made, uh, he, he shows you how this is similar to this. To this. You know, like these houses, you know, the ability, a, a, a house in uh, Israel, it looks like a European house. You know, it makes with a red... Uh, I'm not in Europe. <laughs> I'm in Israel. I don't need this, uh, this kind of... Uh, how do you call it? The roof. 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 roof, yeah. No, the, it, it builds with the... Uh, uh, tiles. 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 Yeah, tiles. I don't need it in Israel. In Israel, uh, you need a straight roof. Flat roof. Front roof, yeah, that you can go stand on. That you can go and sit there in the in the in the evening when the wind comes. <laughs> you can uh, breathe something. In Europe, it's it's cold. You know, you need this roof that when the, it snows, yeah, not too much snow stays on the roof and the, the crushes the house. So the snow uh, slips down on 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 the roof. You know, but here we don't need it. We don't have snow. You know, but no, I, I want to be like in uh, Europe. I want to be a European guy. So I feel this kind of uh, house. This is the imagination. No, why, why, why? It looks, it looks good. No, this looks like this, and this, uh, it looks good. The same with the Torah. You find what is written in this place, what is written in this place, and you get them together. If you speak good enough, 
you can make almost everything look like the like you make when you make business, you know. You know what you I know I know my what, what I'm selling. Yeah? But I, I will never say to the one that comes to buy from me, I know what I'm selling. Oh tell him, you know it's uh, it's the best, it's the good, it's the best. And, and I, I will speak a lot about it, you know, why this is better than this, and why this is better than this. It's called uh, puffing. Huh? Puffing. puffing. <laughs> okay. Yeah? Oh, why? I, I, I'm working on what, on what do I work? On his ima imagination. I'm going to buy something good, and I'm going to sell it for a good price, and I'm going to make millions. That's that's all, uh, that's what what I, I I work on. It's very hard to be straight. <laughs> it's very hard to be straight, you know, to be to be honest. It's a, it's, a, it's a very hard job. Why? Because I also I, I also want to live. I will, I also want to make my uh, panasa, even if it's uh, if it's a living or if it's a. Uh, Millions, you know. Now I, I heard a story about uh, from Arya Devi and uh, Lev Levayov. They are good friends from old times. You know, so he told him, he told, he told him, you are a millionaire already, not a millionaire, with more than a millionaire, billionaire, whatever, you know, millions. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Start working. You're a religious guy. Sit down. Start learning. How long are you going to to stay in this world? You know, you don't need any more money. Well, they have a million, millions. Well, what do you need more? You put it in the bank, you get the interest. It's enough for, 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 for I don't know, 100 families, not for one family. He says, no, I cannot. I cannot stop. It looks to him like if, if he will stop working, he's not alive. He's dead. Well, yeah, you have Torah, you have mitzvahs. You can go and give tzedakah, make a... Gives millions, you know, 60 million shekel a year for the uh, Russian uh, organization of the uh, Chuba. That's what it gives. A year, 60 million a, a year. It's amazing, you know, it's what, uh, what uh, like, uh, what? Dollars and dollars? Yeah, and dollars. Times, times three and a half. Yeah, and quarter of a million? No, it's. No, it's more. Yeah. So ten, 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 more than ten, uh, like fifteen, uh, 15 uh, twelve, uh, twelve uh, million dollars uh, yeah. a year. Charity for the for this uh, organization. But he can, he cannot stop. He cannot, he cannot stop. He, he, it's he, an he addiction. It's, it's. I, 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 I need, I need. Uh, Ten thousand shekel a year, a uh, month to live, okay? And I make only five. How much do I need more? Another five. Simple. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but if I make one million dollars a month, and I make, I make, I make, I'm making. You know, this is what this is my profit. And this month I made only half a million. How much do I do I, do I need? Another half a million. This is the feeling, and this is the feeling, how I think, this is what I need. See, it's a horror. I need, yeah, this is the, 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 the power of the imagination. It gives you, a, this is what I need. You don't need it anymore. I don't feel good. If I don't make this money, I don't feel good. I don't feel good anymore. It's, it's not life. The same with the Torah. You know? I'm used to solve uh, Torah problems, at least one. I have a problem, I have a kashya, and I save it, solve it, you know, mm -hmm. and I get an answer. And if not, I will force it to be an answer. This is the lie that is in the Torah. And this is the worst, the worst lie. Because of this lie, there's lies in the world. If we were straight, in our learning Torah, the world will be straight. So we cannot uh, accuse anyone that he is uh, he hates Jews for nothing. Yeah, 
from his point is for nothing. But for, for the real inside meaning of the word, there's a reason. Why? Because we don't learn the Torah straight like we should do. Yeah, like we should do. I learn Torah because Hashem gave me an order. You have to learn. Now, I, I, I must teach. Why? Because I, I, this is how I feel. You know, I, I feel that I have many good things to teach and to give. And I want to give the good I have to someone else. Yeah? Oh, very nice. Yeah, it's like a doctor, you know. The guy goes to be a doctor. So it's a good profession. You can <coughs> make a good uh, parnasa, a good living out of it. But I like people. I want to help people. What, what happens after 10 years? You remember that part of the reasons that you wanted to be a doctor is to help people? Or now everyone that goes in is $100, $200, $300, and no, go, 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 go away. The same with the, with the teaching Torah, it's just, it's just the same. You remember that you're, what you're teaching is because you want to give people good or because you want to, you want to feel good. You remember? This is the, 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 the imagination. It makes you up. That's why you have to be alert all the time, to be air, to be uh, alive. Be like, what, why am I doing what am I doing? Even when I'm doing good things, why am I doing it? Don't stop doing Because your Kavala is not good, like, I daven. I don't daven good enough. So I stopped davening. No. I will try to daven better. I didn't do the mitzvah good enough. So I won't stop doing this, this mitzvah, but I will try to do it better. But I, if I don't think about it, so I don't know where, where I stand. So this is the Yetzirah, it's on us. It's on us, on whoever learns Torah, the Yetzirah goes on him, want, wants to chop him, wants to kill him, wants to eat him. Yeah, why? Because you create the world every day. Why? And this Chidushim, uh, this new answers that we, we, we answered, we forced the answer, which is not the right answer, is bad for the Parnoseh. It's not good for the Parnoseh. Why? Because by learning Torah, we create the earth and the sky. We, we create the world. The, crea the world is, doesn't exist without learning Torah. It means we create the world. What kind of world we create? If it's a true world, straight world, everything is good. Look at the animals. You know, they eat, they play, they make kids. They don't, they are not poor. <laughs> no, you, you never met a poor lion, you know. He has his food, he's hungry. Uh, he goes out, makes a hand, okay. He, good, you know. Play with his, with his friends, you know, go along, look at the zebras. <laughs> he looks at them, you know, and he's not hungry, he's not eating. Okay. But people, he can fight poor people. Why? Because we didn't learn Torah in the, in the right way. So we didn't create the world in the right way. So there's poverty and there's, there's wars and it's, it's up to me. Like it's written, to say, uh, to Zion, to the Jewish nation, you are with me. So it says, don't uh, uh, read on me, my people, Ella in me, with me. Yeah. Like I made the, the, the earth and the sky with my speech, with my words, yeah? You also create the world with your world. And by, by this speaking, coming all the good things to the world, all the brachas. Yeah? If you learn on the right way. But when you make all this uh, new vote, new uh, speeches of Torah by the Medame, by the lie of the Medame, yeah? 
אז זין פרנדי לא יריקים לשם. והאדם בא רעב לעולם. Then you create a sky, a false sky. By them come רעב, hunger to the world. Amazing. Amazing, amazing, amazing. ואף שיש בהם גם כן טוב, even though that there's good in it, שהם דברי תורה, it's טוירה, so there must be good in it, שהם מבחינת סובע, אך מחמת שהרע יותר מהטוב, הכן הרע גובר, והטוב מתבטל. Because the bad, the imagination is more than the, than the good, than the Torah, so then the... It takes over. It takes over. Like what? Like the dream of yourself, yeah? When yourself come and uh, gave the solution for Paro's dream, yeah? Okay? He says that in the first years he saw the good cows, yeah? He fat, healthy cows. And then he saw thin, bad, skinny cows. And, the, and the, 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 these cows ate the good cows. So what happened when the thin man eats? He has to get big. No, they stay as thin as before. Why? Because the bad was stronger than the good. It ate the good. It ate the good. <coughs> if, I eat some, if I eat good, I, you can see on me that I ate good, no? But if I'm bad, so even if I ate good, you don't see it on it's me. It's not going to change. It, yeah. It, 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 You miss it, you know, you, you, you waste it. And this was the seven years of hunger and seven years <coughs> of uh, sober. Plenty. Plenty. <coughs> that the bad went over on, on, on the good. Until you cannot see the good because the bad is so, uh, so strong. אוקיי. Okay. ומה שמחזר הכוח המדמה לשרות על פי שוני הלכות, why does the power of the imagination wants to go on my mouth when I learn Torah? Why? Because he was created in ערב שבת, שבס בין השמשות. וקדש על אב היום ולא נברא לגוף. He was created on, the, on, on יום שישי, on the sixth day, there were seven days of creation. Six. of creation and the seven yes. of uh, resting. So the power of the imagination was created on the sixth day before coming of Shabbos. At the same time as Adam HaRishon. Close to the Adam HaRishon, yeah. So, he didn't get a body. So who can create a body? Whoever learns in the Torah, he creates the world. He creates all the world, so he can create a body for him. So he looks after him, he comes after him. So he makes him confused. That's why, you know, when you, you see, uh, I think I told you this story already, I went to uh, Moshe Halberstam to, uh, for uh, Dim Toyer, you know, for, and in the middle he, the, he was speaking, I said to him, ah, but the Gemara doesn't say like this. So he stopped everything. Said, What the Gemara says? Why are you talking to me? You are the big uh, genius uh, guy, the big rabbi. I am only a simple man, you know, I just uh, started learning Torah. I will tell you what, uh, what the Torah says. He's afraid. Maybe he made a mistake. You never know, every Jewish has a part in the Torah. Maybe this guy, maybe he, he, he knows the right uh, answer. So he listened to, this, to, to the end. He says to me, you are right. It's a good uh, uh, what uh, you said. It's a good understanding, what you said. But there's another understanding. And he told me this understanding. Yeah? And he asked me if I agree. And only when I said I agree, yeah, it's, it's also good. It's also a good payroll. You know, then he went, oh, well, certainly, you know, because the Rishonim, the, the, the Rashba and the Rambam, say like the second Perus, so the Shulchan Aruch was poised like, like, like them. 
Your perush is a good perush, yeah? But uh, the Rishmachan Aruch didn't say the perush, so that's why I, I have to give the psak like the other perush, you know? All this he had to... Why? I don't to, to, to make a mistake. I want, I want to, make, to, 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 to say the, 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 the truth in the Torah. I don't know, I don't know, I never know. I never know who will put me on the, on the, on the truth, on the point of the truth. I don't know, maybe this guy. So it doesn't matter for, for, for me if, a, if he knows a lot of Torah, if he's a Talmud Chacham, if he's a Naim Damaim, it doesn't make any difference. He stopped me, I'm stopping. Listen what he says, yeah, okay, okay. Okay, I'm, I didn't make a mistake, I did that. Now to make sure I didn't make that, he's teaching me the, the, this side. This is, this is the, the, the Torah, the power of the Torah. You cannot be a, a, a Torah man if you're not humble. If you don't have the point for looking for the truth, and I don't care about myself. Even if I were, I the story about the Rav Shach. Yeah, he was like the top of the top of the Litvish, uh, and he comes up to give a shiur in front of thousand people. And he starts the shiur, and uh, one of the new uh, Talmudim, 16 years old. Yeah, he was, uh, well, he was 80 something already. Yeah, Rosh Hashiva for 40 years. One of the 16 guys, the new, new guys, he says, to him, but uh, Rabbi, it's written like this and like this. And the parish is like this, and he doesn't go with, 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 with uh, what he's saying. So he stopped. I said, you are right. I made a mistake. And went, went home. <laughs> Didn't use the shield. <laughs> yeah? But for us, this is the biggest shield. I have to be on the truth. On, I'm already in the Torah. He's a, he's a Talmud Chuchem for, for, for uh, all his years, 80 years, you know? So let's say he's a Talmud Chuchem only from when he was 20, so only 60 years. And he's a, a Rosh Yeshiva for 40 years. Yeah? He has experience. He, he, could, make, he could make something like this. You know, he, he, he's better than any uh, salesman. You know, he could sell his, uh, his chidush. No. What is truth is truth. This is what I'm selling. If it's not truth, I don't want it. And after after 60 years and after 40 years of being Rosh Hashiva, I can still make a mistake because the Torah is the Torah. I can still make it. And this is the biggest lesson for us. You know, remember, I can always be mistaken. Always. And if someone stops me, st first of all, stop. <clears throat> stop and listen. Why? The power of the imagination can make can do everything. That's a tzaddik. That's a tzaddik. That's a tzaddik. Yeah, that's the way to be a tzaddik. That's what Rabbeinu says. The, the the lowest of my people, I take them on the way of the of the tzaddik. The story about uh, one of the uh, big rabbis, uh, the Hasidus rabbis. I don't, don't remember his name. He was in in the hospital here in, in Jerusalem, and he allowed only men to take care of him. So one time he was uh, alone, and an old nurse came came inside, and he started shouting, "Gibad, ah, Atzilu, save me, save me!" He started shouting. So his uh, grand grand uh, child, grandson came in. He said, "What happened? What happened? A woman, a woman." He says, "Grandpa, it's uh, an old, and ugly woman, <laughs> and you you are an old man. What do you want?" So he says to him, the Yetzer, the power of the imagination, can make out of an old woman a young woman, and out of an ugly woman a beautiful woman, and out of an old man a very young man. I don't want to take any chances. <laughs> you know, take the borders away from me, as far as I can, as far as I can. You know, so he could, he had the power to take that. Each one will. Take the borders away, you know? I have to wait in a, in, 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 in a crowded place. Find a corner. I have to wait uh, for someone in my car, yeah? What do I see in front of me? What do I see? Take care, you know? What do I see in front of me, you know? So if it's not good, I can... 
take to the other side of the street and look to the other side. Why should I uh, 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 be aware, you know, be aware of myself? What do I put in, into my memory? Whatever I put into my memory, it stays there. And, and if I put good things, I have good things, I have good memory, I have good thoughts, I have good heart. If I put bad things inside, so it goes to the other side. So that's why the Koach HaMedameh comes Dafka to the people that learn Torah. Why? Because they create the world now, every minute. And he needs a body. So let's not give him a body. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yes. stay on the truth. You know, stay on the truth. Be ready to, 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 to get, get uh, criticized by everyone. Everyone. Even your children. Two points. <laughs> yeah. Because they're here to make you do tshuva. No one. And more than this? Yeah. Who? Your? My wife. Five points. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, to get, to, to get it. To get, I, I, I am, I am nothing. I want to go only on the truth. Only on straight on the truth, without moving not to this side and not to this side. And what is the hardest point? To accept that you're wrong. My faults. Except I made a mistake. I made a mistake. I, I accept it. I'm not. I'm not such a big man that I will never make mistakes. You know, this is the, the, the teaching of these rabbis that they stop. Maybe I made a mistake. Oh, I didn't make a mistake. Goodbye. Okay. I'm still a human being. I'm not an angel. I'm a human being here in this world. I can make a mistake. So because I'm in my level, you know, so for Rav Shach, it happened one time, you know, and for me it can happen once a day. <laughs> yeah, it's possible. Thank you very much. Thank you. It's the beginning. Come on.